Hey guys, my name is Drake and welcome to another tutorial on 1.14 Bedrock Edition. In this episode, we're going to be doing, in this tutorial even, we're going to be looking at the 4 floor elevator, which does also work on the Java Edition as well. So, without further ado, let's get straight into what this thing actually does. So, as you can see, we've got lighting system here that tells us which floor. This is floor 1, floor 2, floor 3, floor 4. Now we can press this button here. And it'll change to floor 2. Same with this one on the second floor. It'll change it to floor 3 and so on and so forth. Until we get to the final floor 4. And it'll come here. So now if we want to say go to floor 2. From the top. It will, if we can go into the down elevator side of it. I'm going to drop down and it'll drop us into floor 2. And same if we go into the bottom, we can go up to floor 2. Now, without further ado, we're going to look in on how to do this, but we are not going to be looking at the lighting section because it's literally just string it off from here and do the same thing again, which I'm sure you guys can do and work out. Now, before we continue, you can pause it here to look at the floor plan and ignore the black and grey blocks. That is just there to help you work out where you need to place the floor plan. The floor plan is the iron blocks on the floor. But for this tutorial, you're going to need some redstone dust, some a block of your choice. A redstone torch, a repeater, some buttons, a piston, a redstone block, a magma block, a comparator, a sticky piston, and soul sand. Now, depending on how high you're wanting to place the floors, it's going to vary the amount you're going to need, so I'm not going to be including the amount needed. So without further ado, let's get straight into building this thing. Now, the first thing you're wanting to do is come to the front of the thing and you're wanting to get the elevator shafts actually in. So we're going to go and build up here. So we've got like the M shape for the shafts. Now, what we are going to do here is we're going to place a soul sand which we'll grab out of the inventory and may as well grab the magma bot too and we're going to put soul sand in the left hand side and a magma block on the right hand side now the next important thing is we need to put in is we need to build up two on the back two iron blocks for the floor plan and stick a sticky piston in the front and we're going to stick another soul sand there and then fill the block in again and we're going to do the exact same with the front of the on the down elevator side of things as well so I'm going to stick the Stick a piston down and stick a magma block there. Now I'm going to skip forward in the video until I've done all four floors. Now remembering you're only needing three sticky pistons for the four floors, and see after it why I've done that. Okay, so I am back after I have finally filled in all the round the elevator shaft so and one thing I did forget to say we are going to need some signs so let's grab the signs and what we are going to do is place these signs in here just so the water cannot escape like so on every single floor 
because this is how we are going to want to keep the water inside the elevator shaft because we do not want that water flooding all over the place now the most important thing here is we get the water inside of the elevator shaft as well before we start wiring up any redstone so we'll put both waters in both shafts so that now they go all the way down to the bottom so that's the elevator shaft completed now what I like to do here is I like to make sure I have got each of the things plugged in correctly so we're going to go have this one here is going to be the blue input which is the first floor then it's going to be the second floor and the third floor so now as you can see through the back one if we come to the first one this will not go up and this one will not go down when we come to do that one now the more tricky part for this one is because we're going downwards now you want to come bring these colors and bring it one down so we're going to have the red one there orange one there and the yellow one there. Now, as you may have noticed the blue one doesn't have two and neither does the yellow and that's simply because the blue one would be the bottom floor which has got the soul sand in anywhere so we don't need another piston for that and the top floor we do not need another piston to say stop here so we've cut down on the need of them too so now we're going to put the right colors in the right place so this one's going to be the f number one floor one please going to be in the floor one red is going to be floor two orange is going to be floor three and yellow is going to be floor four now moving on to the back side of the front side of the thing we're going to place another block of our choice down here and here and we are going to put our button there I'm going to do the same again here and here and here and another button same yet again all the way up to the top of the tower like so now we are going to get our input colored wool which is going to be the green wool for this and we're going to place the green wool on the block side of the block underneath the button on the back side of it so we're going to look here place it down look here place it down look here place it down now the thing is with this we need to get this signal all the way down to the bottom and still reach there so we're going to come remember that this is 1 at 15 strength then 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, one. So we're going to place our repeater on this one because we're going around a corner here. We're going to get our dust and just put it on all of the blocks running up here. So now we have our. input from each of the buttons now we're going to go around all the way around here following the floor plan with all the green wall we're going to put our dust here 
a repeater here on three ticks with a block above it. I saw and then break the block here. Put a redstone torch on there. And then simply trail the redstone dust all the way along the green input. So this will essentially give us our one tick pulse for the next bit we're going to work on. So looking this way at the floor plan, we're going to get our block of choice and build a square in the center like so with four sticking up blocks in the on the corners and we're going to fill in the inside Right, so remembering that we are so remembering that we've got these here, we're gonna stick our normal piston here. I'm gonna circle it round all in a circle like so. We're then We are then also going to place four little L's, like so, on the last remaining bits of the floor plan. Which then we are going to put a torch on the blocks that has two wide. Got us further sticking away from the central pillars, like so. And then we are going to put the comparators all in subtract mode. As much as these all seem to be lighting up at the moment, and they should really, really shouldn't be, but we'll figure, we'll sort that out in a second. We are then going to trail a dust from here. To all of the things and we are going to actually need a block of our choice here. to block off that signal there, because we're wanting this to come round. Like so. Just to turn off every one of the redstone torches. I'm going to do the same for this side. So now all of your pistons should be off. Now we're going to place a redstone block on number one. Actually that's number two isn't it? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to place number one output here, number two output here, number three and finally, and finally, number four. Now, what we are going to do here is we're going to place repeaters facing out into each of the colored blocks. 
Now we're going to have power on this one. So we're going to stick a redstone torch on there. The the and the and it's important that the redstone torch is facing the block that's sticking out. I'm going to place a redstone torch on there. This is going to stop the thing activating all the time. And we're going to block off and we're going to block off any of the redstone dust that causes a this one to light up other than the torch so place another redstone dust there and as you can see that's forcing that repeater to turn on so we are going to block that off same again for this one because we do not want any of these torches lighting up something that they shouldn't be. Now as we have got the circuit put in, you want to come and check the buttons by pressing one of them, it doesn't matter which one, and as long as that button turns the redstone block round in the circle, you should be absolutely fine. Now what you want to do is come back to these blocks that we placed earlier, place a redstone torch on each one of them. Now the important thing is here, we want the one that we want, the one that's activated, turned on. So when this one is selected, the redstone dust torch should be on at the bottom. So let's actually what you want to do here is put a torch on top put a block on top of it. Then drag that top that all the way down and you're going to want to come two away from here. like so, put a block up between there and put dust all along here like so. Now that'll work. Now number two, torch needs to be off. So we will do the same yet again. This time with the red wall with a torch on top of the block with a and on the side, on the top, red, no we don't rest on, touch on that. Now let's drag this all away along like so. Let's place the blocks there, like that, and then do the same. For this, you want to wire it up. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because you may notice that the yellow block is going to come across here and then to go basically across the orange one. So, to get across that, you want to put your torch on the orange one, put a block, but this time you're going to come across and then up one. And you're going to come across like this and build across like that and come down yet again like so and you should still be within 15 strength signal of that now for the final one you're going to put a block on top of this torch here because you're going to use the power from that. And you're going to come across and then cross straight to the yellow. 
import. So now we've got a nice tidy set out for the input switch. So now whenever you press this button again you want to make sure this works. So now the redstone torches here should alternate on which ones it should be on. And it's switching to the third, switching to the fourth, and switching back to number one again. So we're good there. So the next thing we need to do here is we need to get power to each one of these blocks. So for this one, because it's so simple, we're just going to simply put a block on here, then run across like so. And put redstone dust across. Now, the important bit here is whatever this one is on here, you want to take the power off that. We don't want a redstone block. So, you want a red, red wool again, put a redstone torch on. Put another redstone, red wool block, rest on torch. Now we what we can do here is we can put a block on here and take rest on dust along here. So that's no longer powered. Now what we can do here is because we want the unpowered one, so we want to come off the bottom one. I want to come across here, making sure not to touch blocks together because we do not want to block off the signal. We're going to take this one all the way across to the red one. Now the same applies for the orange wall. We do not want to break that. Put the orange wall on the top. Redstone torch. Orange wall. Redstone torch. Now, as we are on this block here, we want to come across yet again. Put a block on top. Redstone torch dust. Now we need to get to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put another redstone torch, wall, redstone torch. And we're going to run wall across like this with more redstone dust all along the wall again. Now the same thing goes for the yellow, except this time we're only running it to one, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Now the redstone dust is off on level with it, so that is absolutely perfect. So we, what we can do here is run it straight across and put the redstone dust down. Now what we want to do to make sure this is working is make sure when we press for number two, redstone dust is on, the piston is extended, and this piston should be extended, which is right. We'll press it again for floor number three. Orange should be lit, which means the orange wall should be extended. Yes. Is this one extended? Yes, it is. Now we want to check number three. Four even. So all the way up to the top. The yellow one should be extended, yes. Now we should be able to just press it again. And it should be go back to number one, which it has done. 
So, we'll go to floor three from the bottom. And we should be on the third floor. Yes, we are. So, it has worked perfectly. So, if you like this tutorial and you've built this in your world, please let me know. And hopefully this tutorial has been good for a good help for you. And goodbye, everyone.